She sang and lived with soul and style. Aretha Franklin, the preacher's daughter, whose powerful voice made her the long reigning queen of soul, died this morning. Hello, everyone. I'm Marissa Bailey. Aaron is on assignment today. Our Jerika Duncan takes a look back at her remarkable life. You're no good. I'll break her. She sang and lived with soul and style. You better think, think, think about what you're trying to do to me. Daughter of a Baptist preacher, young Aretha got her start in the church choir. She became a single mother in her teens, but she never stopped pursuing her dream. By the 1960s, she was known as the Queen of Soul. Her biggest hit, Respect, became an anthem of the civil rights and women's movements. Franklin won two Grammys for the song and an honorary award from Martin Luther King Jr. A string of hits followed in the 60s and 70s. Franklin recorded more than 40 top 40 singles. collected 18 Grammy Awards for her signature mix of gospel, blues, rock, and pop. Just hopefully, I touch someone in a positive way. In 1987, she became the first female artist inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. But she faced a lot of heartache in her personal life. Her father was shot during a robbery and later died. Her two marriages ended in divorce, but she raised four sons, and she remained an exuberant presence on stage. I got me a man named Doctor. Oh, 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 in later years, the honors rolled in, a Presidential Medal of Freedom and a featured role at President Obama's inauguration. She stole the spotlight at the 2014 premiere for the movie Selma. But in 2017, she appeared frail, singing for Elton John's AIDS Foundation. At that point, she had already announced it would be her final year performing in concert. As word spread that she was gravely ill, Aretha's friends and fans called to say a little prayer for the Queen of Soul. Jerika Duncan, CBS News. Earlier this morning, we sat down with Aretha's former publicist and good friend Clarence Waldron. He tells us she loved Chicago, spending many summers here, and told us about her favorites and how she got her name here. She loved to go to Tiffany's on Michigan Avenue. She loved to go to RL Restaurant. That's downtown on Chicago Avenue. She also liked to sit outside Buckingham Fountain downtown in Grand Park. Is there a Chicago connection to our nickname, the Queen of Soul? Purvis Spann, who was a WBON radio personality, he said, no, this Aretha Franklin is really something. We should crown her the Queen of Soul. And he did. It was at the Regal Theater on stage after her performance. And as long as we say the name Aretha Franklin, she will always live. Wow. Aretha's last performed in Chicago in the area here at Ravinia just last September.